so I haven't put out a video in a while and you guys might be wondering what I've been up to. Listen, um, <laughs> I try to only make a video uh, if I think something's really worthwhile. I'm not one of these YouTubers that tries to put out a video a day or a video a week just to, you know, put out content to put out content. Um, if I'm making a video, I think it's worthwhile and uh, something that somebody else might enjoy or uh, benefit from somehow. So anyway, um, I'm carving a trail out on my backyard. So if you're looking at it now. Uh, you guys know I love the Appalachian Trail. I love backpacking. So the concept here is uh, uh, making a little mini Appalachian Trail right in my backyard. So I'm on a, uh, I guess it's one of the Appalachian Mountain foothills is where I'm situated here in Tennessee. This hill here, I mean it feels like a mountain, but I guess it's technically just a hill. But it's about a 30 degree angle if I had to estimate going up it. So you can't just... Uh, can't just carve a trail going straight up the mountain, hence the switchback trail. And uh, what that means, a switchback trail is like a trail that zigzags down the mountain. So it cuts the angle down from like a 30 degree angle, in this case, to, you know, something that you're able to walk on. So in order to do that, um, I'm using a grub axe and a chainsaw. Those are the only two tools I'm using. Um, I guess I could have, well, I thought about renting a track hoe, like one of those little mini track hoes. And uh, I thought better of it because this this grade is so steep that, you know, you're likely to uh, roll it right down the mountain trying to, trying to work if one of the sides of the berm give way while you're digging. And that's going to be a catastrophe. So I'm doing it by hand, which is cool because it's got like a minimal footprint. You know, it's not tearing up the property or anything. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, though. It's hard work. <laughs> but you're looking at the uh, the finished product. This is where I'm at so far. Probably got, uh, I don't know, 100 yards, 150 yards, whatever, dug out here. Process is pretty straightforward. I, uh, I climb up the hill. I find a downed dead tree. Uh, you know, I usually try to go for something like four to six inches in diameter. I uh, cut that thing off, skid it down the mountain, um, and then place it uh, between two live standing trees, one on each end. And then uh, basically use a hoe to dig into the mountain and drag the soil from the high side to the low side um, over to the log where the, the low side is thus creating a flat spot that I can walk on. And uh, there's my grub axe there. That's what I'm using to do the job. There's my my chainsaw. So that's as far as I made it. Um, I try to get all the way down there to the valley floor. Probably doesn't show up on the video, because video. <laughs> but I got quite a, a bit more work to do. By the time this trail's done, it's probably going to be a half a mile. Let me give you a view from the bottom side. It might give you a better idea of how the process works. Hang on. All right. So there's the log. You can see that that's the uh, kind of the bulkhead. And then the earthworks uh, part, I just dig into the mountain, drag it over. And that's the, uh, the finished concept. Speaking of finished concept, the uh, the finished product is going to be uh, the valley floor. There's probably like a, a football field size flat ground at the bottom there that I'm going to turn into a uh, shooting range slash bushcraft area. And then the trail itself is, is super cool. Just that feature there to get down to the bottom is nice because my wife and I can walk our dogs back here without, you know, worrying about traffic or having them on a leash or running into other people. Uh, you can get some exercise, um, you know, and it's just nice to be out in nature on your own property. So that's what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I'll come back when the thing's finished and upload the full trail 
and I'm still working on uh, my shed slash man cave. You know, I'm retired, so I'm on a budget. So uh, that's happening in good time, but I'll come back with a video for the finished product for the man cave. You guys are really going to like that. So stay tuned and uh, have a great day.